Emeraldy Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Blue! In the last episode, we did everything on the SSN that I could think of to do, possibly. In this episode, we're going to the Pokemon Center to heal my Pokemon up to perfect health, which is something that I vastly need at this point. Boom, boom, Okay, and also important things. I'll have to turn on the PC. Um, actually, first things first, we are going to be tackling the gym in this episode, which is an important thing. So, one thing I want to do, first and foremost, we need to teach Cut to a Pokémon. Um, let's teach it to Demise. I accidentally just got rid of Vine Whip. Well, it's a good thing I saved before I did this. Hold on a second. Okay. So don't match the A button so fast. My can learn more than four moves. Yes. See, it, I feel like it's like intending to be like, hey, which move should be forgotten? Then you press the A button and then show the moves, but no, it just shows the moves immediately, so it's... That threw me off. Anyways, I wanted to get rid of growth. Anyways, now I learned cut. Okay. So that's good. Now then. Actually, before I do that, I also want to go to the mark and sell some of the TMs that I don't think I'm ever going to use. Okay, so, which TMs are which? Body Slam. So, keep TM8. 45 can go. I guess we'll keep 11 just in case. Can't use that, but eh, so I'll store that. 45... Forty-five and thirty-four. Okay. So sell forty-five and thirty-four. Is, is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Okay. Sell... Thirty-four. And... Forty-five. Okay. Now that I've sold those, I will store the other TMs and the HM, if I can, in my box, because that's how you deal with item limitations. I did not know there was an item limitation. I'm very glad they got rid of that. Alright, deposit item, TM1. I'll deposit the ethers, I suppose. The Moonstone. The TM. The Dome Fossil. The other TMs that I can't use at the moment. I accidentally just stored the map. I'll store the SS Ticket, because I'm not going to be needing that anymore. I'll store the Old Rod, because I'm not going to be needing that. No. Uh, TM8. I'll store you. I'll store Cut. And I'll store this. Okay. And I'm gonna take back out the town, town map, because... Yeah, the town, the town map's good enough to keep around. Alright. Now then. Now that I've done that, I'm going to actually heal up my Pokemon again, because the re rebooting the save undid my heal. So that's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. At least I saved, at least I can fix the problem that I did. All right, and now that that's taken care of, everyone's healed up, everything's good. I'm gonna put Chert out in front, and let's go to the gym. It's five minutes into the episode, why not? Okay, so you can't select the thing for some reason. Cut. 
The Maya's hacked away with cut. Shoom. Ruling City Pokemon Gym Le Leader Lieutenant Surge, the Lightning American. Alright. So, I'm gonna fight some of these trainers. I'll fight you. This is no place for kids. Alright, let's see what you got, buddy. Boyo. A sailor. He sent out a Pikachu. Now here's the good thing about using Chirt. Ground is strong against lightning. Electricity, whatever. Whatever type it is. And also, electric types can't even hurt Chirt. So... Chirt's gonna wreck this place. And that's awesome. And it's, al it's also really good that I have Dig now, so it's like... I can just really wreck them, because before I didn't even have a ground-type move to attack them with, but now I do. Like, so Chirp's gonna destroy everything. It's not even like with Misty, where it was like, I had the... I had, uh, Choice, but it's like, Choice could still be hurt by the water-type attacks. Like, no, Chirp can't even be hurt by, by electric attacks. So this electric-type gem is just going to be destroyed by my little adorable armadillo. Yay! Wow, well, their other attacks are doing nothing either. Get out of here! You're dead! You're dead! Trick root of level 21, yay! Gonna use a Magnemite? No, I'm not gonna change Pokemon. I do not believe you have Levitate, so I'm going to dig a hole and attack you. Aha! Uh -huh. That's... That's an ability that Magnemite has in later generations, I believe, where it can just avoid certain ground-based attacks because it's levitating. It's, it's like, got an ability, but I don't think Pokémon had abilities in this game at all. So that just means that I can destroy them with no problem. Chirt, you are... I'm, I'm really glad I got Chirt now, because this gym is just gonna get destroyed. I don't even need to cut out these battles, I'm just, like, wrecking them all. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict commanding officer. I'm assuming that's what that stood for. Gentlemen, what's the fight? You sent out a Pikachu. And you can dig again. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect me. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Dead, I hope. Woohoo! Chirp, you monster. Stop, you're very good! I know I am. Alright, so now here's the weird annoying thing. We need to stifle through trash in order to get through the doors. Hey, there's a switch under the trash. Turn it on. The first electrode lock opened. So the annoying thing is it com it's completely random every single time which one it's in. And I believe the, the other the one it's going to be next to is always going to be like one that one that the first one touches. I'm pretty certain. It's really weird how the things always change. Hmm. Hold on, let me just check with you. Champ of the making! The Gen Surge is a nickname. People have heard him as a Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paralysis, too. He's very cautious, you'll have to break a code to get to him. Okay, so that doesn't say anything. Alright. So, we need to keep looking around. Hey, there's a switch under the trash, turn it on. And as you can see, it doesn't stay at the same one. So, you know what? I'm just gonna cut to when I get it. Uh oh -huh. The motorized door opened! Alright. So, I actually went ahead and healed my Pokémon, just because I want wanted to. So, alright. Now that that's taken care of, I'm going to save before I fight you. As a just-in-case. Alright, Chert. Hey, kid! What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long to come back, that's for sure. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon save me down the wall. They zap my enemies into paralysis, the same as I'll do to you. 
Jeez, I'm just a kid. Isn't that a little harsh? Lieutenant Surge wants to fight. He sent out a Voltor. Alright, shirt, you know what to do. Dig a hole. Dig, dig, dig a hole. Boop, ba -doop, boop, boop, boom, and you're dead. Ha ha ha. True Groot level 22! Yay. Gonna use a Pikachu? No, I'm not changing Pokemon. Chert's gonna wipe... Chert's gonna, like, wreck this entire gym, basically. All on his own. Nothing else is just gonna wreck it. Bam. Your level 18 Pikachu ain't nothing. I've got an Armadillo. How does that make you feel? He's gonna use Raichu, the evolution of Pikachu. Look how bold this it is. He's cute. I like it. Next speed. And... Oh, you're not dead. But you can't affect me, so haha, <laughs> you are good as dead now. And easy as gym ever. <laughs> uh, I didn't gain a level from that? Oh well. Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. I got a lot of money from- What? Shirt is evolving? Well, I mean... If this was- If there any other time there was to evolve Chert, it was now, when he wrecked everything. Chert evolved into the Sand Slash! Look at that lopsided head! The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokémon speed. It also lets your Pokémon fly anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. We received TM24. Team 24 contains Thunderbolt. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. Thank you for that, Lieutenant Surge. Okay. It's only been 14 minutes for me. That's not long enough for an episode, I don't think. But I'm not entirely sure what to do now. Uh, I do have Cut, actually, so I can go back and go to the Rock Tunnel. I think that's actually what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I'm gonna heal up. Do 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 Yay. Alright. Uh, he teach he got gave me a TM that can make that can give me thunder Thunderbolt, I believe. Pikachu knows thunder shock. Would it be worth it to teach Pikachu Thunderbolt? Because the thing is, I'm not even entirely sure how long I'm going to be keeping Choice on the team. Although, I guess Choice is pretty strong. For right now. I don't know, I'll put it into storage for now and I'll figure it out. It's better than selling it, at least. Alright. TM24. There we go. Alright, so, um, I guess I will meet you guys back in Celadon, because, the, uh, yeah, I, got, I don't really have much else to do. Okay, here in Celadon, we have a bike voucher now, so we can get a bike for free. Oh, that's a bike voucher! Okay, here you go. I'll just exchange the bike voucher for a bicycle. And now, we get out our items. We can bike around. Whee! Yay! Bicycling is fun. So yeah, bicycle, it's the primary way you want to get around, usually. If you think it's gonna be worth... Worth it, at least. So now we can cut this. I think we can go over this by now. That's interesting. Alright, so... I guess I'll just fight you and then end the episode. You have Pokemon with you! You're mine! Yo, mine! Bye-bye! Alright, what do you have? You have an Oddish. Alright, whoa, sure, you're just like a mess of... Polygon junk. Alright, nice critical. Chirk level 23! Not bad, Chirk. You all, you really went 
You run really got up got uh, your words. Like you're already tied with everyone else for like with Choice and Zydo for like highest level. It's pretty good. Alright, Hylas, you're actually you're actually one of the low level ones now. I'm sorry, buddy, I haven't been using you too much. Only to be fair, Ember's not exactly the strongest move, and that's really all all Hylas has going for him. Hylas needs a stronger fire attack. We'll get, he'll get one eventually. If nothing else, there'll be T TMs to get. Akiyash. No. I'm just gonna burn all y'all to death. Yeah, that's the awkward thing about Ember. Y you keep it around for a while. There's nothing... There, you don't really get any other fire attacks. Which is a shame, because, like, if you look at the TMs I was looking at, I, I had, like, five other water attacks that I could have used. So if you have Squirtle, then that's great. But, like, I don't know, it seems like they don't really give you anything if you have a fire-type Pokemon. Which is a shame. But it's just one of the difficulties of using a fire-type Pokemon, I guess. It's kind of like a weird, like, way of disguising things in a way, I guess. Like, Bulbasaur is kind of like easy mode, because... Brock is weak to grass, and then Misty's weak to grass. Squirtle's kind of like average, because like Brock is weak to water, but then but then Misty's strong in water, and then weak, and then you're weak. But then by now, but then you you probably have some other moves that you other Pokemon that would be strong against electricity. But like Fire type, like you kind of need other things. Also, this is a really annoying combination of paralysis and rap. All I want to do is burn you. I need to get one successful move out, but I'm either paralyzed or being wrapped. For fuck's sake, just do something. Okay, don't be paralyzed. Thank you. Bird Jesus. What? Oh, because growth doesn't... Fuck you. Because growth... Adds to its special defense as well because it's the same thing in this game. Damn it! Forgot about that fact. Please just let me kill you. Please just let me kill you. I hate everything. Hylas really needs a freaking better move. And now I'm asleep! As if things couldn't get any more annoying. Uh, this bell sprout, this bell sprout is not letting me kill it. Please let me kill you. Come on. Well, at least I'm awake now. Let me fight, let me fight, let me fight, let me fight, please, please, why is this harder than the gym leader? Sorry. Okay. I defeated you. You deceived me. No, I defeated you. Anyways. Now then. Next time on Let's Play... Pokemon Blue. Am I even going the right way, actually? Vermilion City. Vermilion City. SSN, Route 9, Rock Tunnel, Route 10, Lavender Town, Bullmont Tower. Okay, yeah, I'm totally going the right way. I was just wondering, because, like, I know... Because Cerulean is level 2, but then Celadon is level 4, and I was like, do I need to be going to Celadon now, or Lavender Town? Well, Lavender Town's on the right, and Celadon Town's on the left, but it does look like that this is the way I'm supposed to go. So that's good. Only do a Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to full health. Okay. So, now that that's all taken care of, next time I must play Pokemon Blue, we're gonna be working our way to the Rock Tunnel.
That's gonna be fun. Not. <laughs> 